Hello, thank you so much for coming by the channel. I appreciate it. My name is Susan. This channel is Road Reads. And today I'm just going to talk about one book because when a book is this thick, over a thousand pages, and this wonderful, it deserves its own video. This is Red Comet, The Short Life and Blazing Art of Sylvia Plath by Heather Clark. So I originally, as soon as this came out, out. I think it was October um, of this year or was it November <laughs> as soon as it came out I got it on the Kindle but then uh, once I realized how good this was I'm like I need the actual physical book so then I ordered the physical book and then I ordered the Kindle audio or the uh, audiobook from audible so I have this book on all three formats and I have thrown so much money this way and it is worth every penny. If you love or even like literary biographies, this is a must. If you like poetry, this is a must. If you love reading about writers, this is a must. It is so good. Even if you just have a slight interest in it, I think this book will suck you in. It certainly did me. Although I do love literary biographies. I love to read about writers. And Sylvia Plath, you know, she had a very short life. She died at 30. But so much of what, you know, the regular Joe on the street thinks about with Sylvia Plath is associated with her death. And this author brings out Sylvia Plath's life and all that she contributed. I am not, I am not someone who readily understands her poetry, but I am going to try. Like to me, it is worth the effort. That's another great thing about this book is not only are we finding out about Sylvia's life from day one. We find out about her ancestry, her mother and father. We go through her whole elementary period, high school, Smith College, the famous internship um, at Mademoiselle Magazine, which um, is the experience the bell jar, her one novel is based on. And then we go off to Cambridge with her and we meet Ted Hughes with her. We go through a lot of relationships with Sylvia Plath. And um, this author, I mean, look at this. This is amazing for a literary bi biography. I watched an interview, I watched a few interviews with this author on YouTube. First of all, let me just let you know, this, this author, Heather Clark, she is someone you can trust as an authority on this. She, um, it says she earned her bachelor's degree in English literature from Harvard and her doctorate in English from Oxford University. She's a professor of contemporary poetry also currently. Um, she spent nearly a decade, I think it was eight years on this book. <laughs> And she said in a couple of the interviews I watched that where a lot of biographers, their problem is they don't have enough historic written material to go on. She had too much. <laughs> and that's why she did not want to shortchange this, this biography on Sylvia Plath. Um, I have not read other biographies on Sylvia Plath, but I do know that none of them are like this. None of them are as comprehensive as Red Comet. And I think, I think Heather Clark just, just handles this biography in such an amazing way because she really wants us to see the full picture of Sylvia, not just the woman who committed suicide. Um, it, it is a time commitment. <laughs> and I took my time reading this. Usually I don't like to read a book over a long period of time, but this one kind of forced me to take, I think it was over a month, it took me to get through this while I read some other things. But this book has opened me up to so much. I found it so inspiring because Sylvia Plath, she's an artist, right? She's a poet. She has that whole wild poet side to her, but she's also, driven and ambitious and business-minded and money-minded. So unlike the man she married, Ted Hughes, I mean, 
who was just had that artist side, Sylvia had that side, but she also had the business side to her too. And taking the next step and the next step, what's the next thing I need to do? She knew what she wanted to be. She wanted to be one of the greatest poets of all time. And again, I wish I understood her poetry more, um, but I don't, but I have, I have her complete poems. So I'm gonna be going through this and then finding where Heather Clark talks about those poems in here and rereading those sections to give me some more understanding because I feel like it's worth it for me. I want to understand her poems more. Um, whereas like when I read Emily Dickinson, I am fascinated by Emily Dickinson, the person, but not a lot of her poetry. Yes, yeah, some of the her poems like really get to me, but I don't understand a lot of them, to be frank. And I don't really feel like putting in the time to. Whereas with Sylvia Plath, now that I've read this, <laughs> I want to understand it. And it's also introduced me to, I mean, I didn't really, I had heard of the names, you know, uh, Robert Lowell and um, Anne Sexton. And they, there's so many other literary figures that this really has, spurred my interest. Um, Plath loved uh, Yeats. So now I wanna read all that. She loved, um, oh, Dylan Thomas. So now I wanna read all of Dylan Thomas. I wanna read more of Ted Hughes. And I did, because of reading this, I did get his birthday letters, which are poems he wrote over, I think a few decades about him and Sylvia and their relationship. I also, um, I, I think I've shown all these. I got the journals of Sylvia Plath. So now all I need to get is uh, the letters of Sylvia Plath. But I so recommend this. If, if it at all sounds of interest to you, I think you'll love it. This, this author just does an amazing job. It, the book really picked up for me when Sylvia went over to Cambridge. Um, but then after getting to the end, then I appreciated all of the beginning information more. Um, like at a, at a certain point, you just feel like you're going on date after date after date with Sylvia and various guys, but, and that kind of like, okay, okay. But once she got with Ted Hughes, like, because I knew that would end up being her husband, um, the book really like solidified as like something I just, I didn't want to stop reading. And so I made it through the second half much faster. Um, but again, I like, now I appreciate the first half a lot more. Like, I feel like you need all this information actually to like get the full picture. And um, like I said, I got it via Audible also. And even though I finished it, I'm still listening to this book. Like I'm out doing chores or um, I'm sleepy and I wanna listen to something before I go to sleep. I just, I just put on Red Comet because I enjoy it so much. And I love, I, I, I'm the kind who doesn't, uh, I could listen to something a hundred times and find out more each time. So I'm just, I know I'm gushing, but this is a five-star book. This will probably be in my top 10 reads of 2020. And that's saying something about a biography, um, a literary biography. So anyway, if you have read this or want to read it, leave me an, um, a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.